Amos chapter 4. Hear this word, the kind of nation, of the kind is cows. Basia is located east of the Sea of Galilee and is fertile land. It's good for the cows and the cattle. They are in the mountain of Samaria, which oppresses the poor. Gives them a hard time, doesn't it? Give them opportunity to survive. Like our government, and crush the needy. You know this this country that everybody wants God to bless and expect God's blessing. There are people who are needy, truly needy, and don't get all the help they should get. And there are people just flat out lazy, good for nothing. And they make babies so the government will give them more money. And don't tell me, I know I've had them in my family. I've been a street preacher. I've met homeless vets. I've met vets who can't get enough help at the VA. Listen, I'm all for that, 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 that single mother, widowed parent with children who have a job and can't make enough. Would say to their master, all right, what would that, that be your employer? Bring let us drink. The Lord God has sworn, made an oath by His holiness. God has said, by the holiness that I am and I have, I mean, that's like God walking the courtroom. Do you swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth? So help me me. Yeah, you know, I, I I watch and I don't know if I can say it, but I don't think I, I watch the people's court and you know, and they you know they say your right hand. I said you know that's that's a joke today. First of all, what happened to the Bible? Then you got to say which Bible? And you know they'll say that oh, and then you watch an episode and many times Judge Marion has caught them in an out right lie and nothing happens there's no charge of, of per, uh, perjury every cow kind wait a minute, verse 2 in his holy lo the day shall come upon you uh oh you're in trouble that he will take you away with hooks And your posterity, that's your children, with fish hooks. And to get them back, Israel, Israel, to get them back, Jesus calls four men and said, Be fishers of men. And then the church said, Oh, you know, be fishers of men. Be that's Jesus talking to the Jewish fishermen going after Jewish people. It has nothing to do with the Gentiles because Jesus told those very disciples, Go and all uh, to go amongst the Jews. Don't go to the Gentiles. So when you say to a Christian, "Be fishers of men," you are the light of the world. You are just that's all taken out of context, my friend. You are perverting the scriptures. But we'll move on. And ye shall go out at breaches, that's holes, broken areas. Every cow at that which is before her, they're going to be just lined up for the slaughter. And ye shall cast them into the palace, saith the Lord. There's that palace again. 
Now, I have been told by a pastor, you know, because I'm sarcastic. That's one of my weapons. Sarcasm, and he got up before the pulpit. Sarcasm is a sin. Watch this. Come to Bethel and transgress. That's God saying it. At Gilgal, multiply your transgressions. Look at verse 5, you'll understand. Offer your sacrifice of thanksgiving with leaven. That's God speaking. That's God saying, sin. You want a Bible verse to sin, there you go. But God's being sarcastic. Come to Bethel, that's where the golden calf is. You're transgressing at Bethel. Bethel means house of God. Beth, house, El, God. You ever see a church with L in it, in the name of it? You're saying God, the house of God, Bethel, house of God. It ain't the house of God. It's a building. That's where Jacob met God. At Gilgal, multiply transgression. Come into the cities of Israel, transgress. That's what you're doing. Bring your sacrifice every morning. So transgress, be involved in transgression, and then bring your sacrifices. Friend, that's what some of the Christians, they come to church Sunday morning, and Monday they live like the devil. Saturday they live like the devil. Your tithes after three years. There was tithing according to the law. Offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving with leaven. You better not leaven. Is it is a type of sin in the Bible. There's much leaven in the church. All are welcome. Invite them to church Sunday. Proclaim and publish the free offerings. Tell what everybody's given. My brother, who, who was a church account at a church, would sit at the dinner table and he would tell us what people were giving. Oh, this family, he must have got a raise because now he, he ups his tithing. Yet have you not returned unto me, saith the Lord. And that particular expression is going to happen throughout this chapter. You've not repented. You've not come to me. Why? You're transgressing. You're doing wrong. You're in your sins. God's not going to take you in your sins. So say, come as you are. Yeah, you better come as you are, repenting, confessing, with a contrite heart. Now watch verse 6 on. I also have given you cleanness of teeth all your city. You say, what's that mean? There's no food so your teeth are clean. You don't have specks of food. You, you know, you ever eat something? You got to get that tooth, the, the, the uh, toothpick. You got to take your dentures out and clean them. God said, you don't need to do that. There is no food. And want of bread in your places. There's no bread. And we see this when we study Jeremiah in Judah. Yet you had not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Are you seeing something? Have you not seen your grocery stores? Have you not known that, that the formula, the strawberries, the lettuce, the wheat, the toilet paper? I know you don't eat that, but... Amos 4, 6, and what we study in Jeremiah is happening in 2022 in the world, in America today, yet they have not returned unto God. Nothing new under the sun, said the king and prophet. 
I have also withhold the rain from you. You know what they're saying now? In America, as we are not getting our rain, automobiles are being found, dead bodies, bones are being found, cities that have been long gone. Treasures they found the other day. This this riverbed treasure. They found this Civil War era wood plumbing. I thought also that we're studying this and the other day we said in Syria. They are now exploring the ancient city of Nineveh. Whoa. Imagine how these city names are coming back. We'll read more. I was holding the rain from you. We're going to drought. When there were yet three months to the harvest, I forget that's the earlier latter rain, it rained around the harvest time in Israel. I caused it to rain upon one city and caused it not to rain on another city. So it's not El Nemo. They had another L something the other day. When you're not getting rain, it is God. It may also be the devil causing the weather. Job 1. 1 piece was rained upon and a piece whereupon it rained not withered. So there are rains in certain areas and there are areas that are not rain. Drought. That's happening today. So two or three cities wandered into one city to drink water. You wait till you get to that. Oh, it's so simple. You go to the grocery store, you get yourself bottled water. No, not if you keep on rejecting God. One day your bottle of water is going to be an empty shelf. And then when the church is gone with the rapture, and Moses and Liza shows up, your blood will be red. Blood. You know, people are taking water for granted. No, 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 no. Everybody's got a water container, a water jug. When I grew up, you know, every school, every public building had a water fountain. The parks and the places you would go would have a water fountain. For drinking and for recreational use. Not when you, and said, yeah, have you not returned on me, saying, look, you don't turn to God, you don't repent, you don't get right. You're going to start losing your water. California has complete water restrictions. Fires are broken out. I have smitten you with blasting the mildew. Mold. Mildew. Moss. That's happening. When your gardens and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees increase. So when, when you, you got the crops, God blasted those crops with mildew. Blasting them. The grapes, the figs, the olives dropped to the ground. They were of no use. The palmer worm devoured them. There's the book of Joel. And with that, you have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. God says, all right, here we go. Give you COVID. COVID-19, COVID, COVID, I forget. Old news. You've not returned unto the Lord. All right. Russia and Ukraine. You have not turned to the Lord. 
monkey pox. You've not turned unto the Lord. You're, you're getting drowned. You've not turned unto the Lord. India is saying now, we're not going to give you our wheat. You've not turned unto the Lord. You've not turned unto the Lord. There was a time when all the hospitals were filled. We talked last night and said, somebody was sick, they called the doctors. Hey, we're too busy. Call the hospital when you're near dead. Call the hospital when you can't breathe. Or go to the hospital when you can't breathe. We got the greatest medical technology, they say. But we can't see you. Can't make appointment with you. And you have not returned unto me. The person I'm talking about doesn't have the right Bible. Doesn't teach right. Is incorrect and told me, no, 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 I'm not going. I'm not going to talk about other religions. I'm not going to talk. And I, I listen. I told him with the Bible. Uh, okay. I don't pray for you, buddy. I pray you get right, and that's it. I have sent among you pestilence. That would be COVID. Rabies. Monkeypox. High gas prices. In the manner of Egypt. All right, go back to Exodus and reread what God, you ought to be reading that every year anyway. Reread what God did to Egypt. That's coming back. Have you read the tribulation, the book of Revelation, Daniel, Zechariah? Have you read Matthew and all that to see that it's all going to happen again? Exodus is not only history, it's prophecy. And we're also looking at a time when Israel goes into captivity under Nineveh. This is history. And yet it's happened in 2022. I don't know what tomorrow is going to behold. And the worldly carnal crit. Oh, you know, the media, the media. Oh, my gosh. But hey, you better get right with God. I blasted a preacher today on Facebook. He posted, oh, it's only a joke. You know, I, you know, I saved money by cycling gasoline out of cars that had Biden bumper stickers. I put on that thing, thou shalt not steal what Paul said. I said, thou shalt not, uh, uh, well, uh, Paul said, uh, thou shalt abstain from all appearance of evil. You, you are now be, be claiming before God, though you didn't do it, you are stealing from people. Oh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. That man that told David, I killed King Saul. David had him killed by his worth. He didn't kill King Saul. God will hold you to your big, fat mouth. And then I quoted to him out of 1 Timothy chapter 2, where it's the will of God that we're supposed to pray for our leader. And at the end of that thing, I put PREACHER in all capital letters. Oh, the gas price! Oh, the gas prices! But you're not repenting. You're complaining. You are in the wilderness. But there's no churches, very rare, very few, that are preaching like Moses. Hey, you guys are an error. God's right. We got the 66 books. They didn't. Your vineyards gave you grapes, gave you wine. The Bible says wine cheereth God and man. The grape juice, that, that's not the intoxicating liquor. The fig trees, a juicy fruit, which pictures self-righteous, but not the fruit, the leaves. I believe in Jesus. He said, oh, I'm hungry. And he walked up to a fig tree. He wasn't tying it. And cursed it. Fig tree represents Israel. The vineyard, according to Isaiah, in Jesus represents Israel. 
You know, there was a vineyard. And there were taskmasters sent to that vineyard, and they, he, he sent one of his servants, and they killed him, beat him. And then at last, he sent his son. Olive trees, all of the berry, the oil is the type of Holy Spirit, the anointing of the high priest, the anointing of the priest, the anointing of a king, not Israel's king, but they anointed the king, and they, they anointed their face. To prevent burning, you know, they're in a desert atmosphere. There's the berries. There's the fruit on the ground. The palmer were devoured them, Joel. They did not return to me. I have sent among you pestilence and a man of Egypt. Your young men have I slain with the sword. War. Men are dying in Ukraine. Men are dying in Russia. Men are dying all over the world in battles and conflicts. I mean, there may be a conflict in South America, but it's not enough to make the money in the newspaper. The enemy of Israel could be attacking Israel right now. That's not going to make the newspaper. But when Israel strikes back to defend herself, then that's going to make the newspaper. That's today's news newspaper. That's tomorrow's tribulation. That's what Jesus said. This is happening as Israel will go into captivity. They're taking away your horses. Well, we already read a place, already named it. They're not going to be able to run. They're not going to be able to jump on their horses. We already read, which which happened before, but we read at a point is there were very little horses left, and, and, and King Ahab sent out his servant. Man, we, we got to find some grass because we got to save the manatee. We got to save the whales, but the heck with the people. Up to date. And I had made the stink of your camp come up to your nostrils. That could be the dead body, but there was also in the law that when you ease yourself, you were to take your paddle and cover it. Well, they haven't been obeying God. They may not be covering their doo-doo. Yet have I not Yet ye have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. This is like in Deuteronomy. And then I will blast you seven times more for your sin. And I will get you seven more times for your sin. And if you repent not, I'll get you seven more times. Sins in God don't mix. And yet the church holds on to her sin. The sins of the Catholic Church, the sin of paganism, the sins of the world. You know, all these modern Bibles came out of the Lazarusian Church age, not the Church of Philadelphia. The last great Bible, the King James Bible, I know there was a great Bible, but the King James Bible, the Geneva Bible, came out of Philadelphia. When God closed that door that no man can close, NIV, ASV, PDQ, you are stupid, so am I. They even got a Bible out there for a non group of people. You say, what's that? The Klingon Bible. Those aliens in the Star Trek movie. They got a Klingon Bible. There are no Klingons. I see a Baptist church. I open your Klingon Bible. I laugh now when, when I hear the NIV and all about I keep laughing when I hear that crap. Oh, he said crap. He knows how to keep on saying, not returning to me. Not America's not returned unto God because the church has not turned to God. 
Listen, you're not going to revive when you put Easter away. You know what? You know what Judah? You know what Jeremiah said about Judah? Well, we're going to run to the Queen of Queen of Heaven because since all this happened, we haven't been offering our cakes to the Queen of Heaven. We're going back to the paganism. You know what the Baptist Church is? Well, you know they only come twice a year. So that makes them say, "What? Well, you lift those people up like?" And so they'll go home. But yeah, but I did my one. That was number one for the year. I'm a good boy, oh my God. And the preachers are helping them. The church is helping them, and they'll stand maybe at the great white throne. Oh, I went wrong. I went to church on Easter. Pastor enjoyed it. Be a great surprise at the, at the judgment seat of Christ. That's the same judgment. It's going to be quite a surprise of the pastors and preachers and teachers. Of all the messes I've seen in the churches and I've seen here in Florida and in Connecticut, all the pastors represent themselves. How dare you tell me? Who do you think? I had one pastor one time. And I didn't catch this on delay. I wasn't in school. Actually, I was in school. Touch not my anointing. Do my prophets no harm. Well, first of all, that's in the book of Psalms. That's not a Christian. But if you go to the church down here in South Lucia, if you want to be drowned in a water with a piece of iron, that pastor will tell you, well, there are Christians in the Old Testament. Meanwhile, he'll run to Malachi. You got a tithe. You got a tithe. Do you know how close that is to replacement theology? Now, you may not claim replacement theology. That's where the church is taking over the blessings of, of Israel because God's all finished with Israel. Well, that's a whole new other story. But I have overthrown some of you. There are some left. As God overthrew Sodom, what a comparison. Israel, no, you know who you're like? Who are we like? The Babylonians? Well, they weren't around yet. Look at Genesis. Look who got you. I think it's 13. I think it's the first 13, 13. Look at Genesis 13, 13. Now, in your Bible, 13 means rebellion. And we had a celebration in 1976, the great America. 7 plus 6 is 13. We used to have a flag that had 13 stripes. 13 stars in it. The 13 colonies. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. All right, run the back to where we just were. Amos 4. So when God says, all right, let me give you an illustration who you are, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. What's going on in June right now? Gay Pride Month. 2022, you want to go to Target? Target, we found animal toys, cat toys, dog toys, rainbow. We see little girls' dresses and swim, rainbow. Rainbow this, rainbow that. They even had pet toys with the Pride Month or something like that. Take Pride. Your pets. Your dog knows what to do with his sexual organs. If even you don't. I'm for sure your cat knows what difference between a male and a female, even though you don't. By the way, also today, the ASPC said, you know, if you're a firm stand of the NRA, you can't adopt a pet, but you can get your pet involved in Gay Pride Month. I 
Send me a band-aid for my finger because it hurts now. Sodom Gomorrah. That matches today. And by the way, 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 oh, you're always picking on America. In Jerusalem, they're pride jumping and dancing and marching in Israel, in Jerusalem, about their sodomy. Right now, 2022, they are involved in their LB ever. I'm a, I'm a queer. Just like they were in Amos. Just like they were in uh, Jeremiah. What did God say back then? Same thing he said in 2022. Why else do you think God's going to get the Antichrist to whip their butt? And ye were as a firebrand plucked out of the burning. You say, what's that? Alright, here's a fire. You got the wood and you got things in there. And that firebrand is just about to be consumed. And you take out a fire and you, you blow on it and you wave it and you put the fire out. And you save it. It's still been burned. It's still been through the heat. It's still been through the fire. I think Isaiah, I think it was Isaiah or Ezekiel wrote that. They shall go through the fire. They shall go through the... Yet had they not returned unto me, saith the Lord. All right, there are Israelites, nor they are running around the world right now, wherever they are. As a corporate nation, they have not got back together with Judah. And they both have not together gotten back to God. Israel as a nation, corporate, they're on the shelf right now. But an individual can get saved. And God's going to deal with them corporately through the Antichrist. And even still in the tribulation period, you're going to have the 144,000, but... Missing Ephraim, Hosea, remember that? Missing Dan, the original first Catholic church, Judges, remember that? But they are going to be restored again. I forget, is it the foundation or the, or the gates of New Jerusalem have the 12 tribes and Dan and Ephraim are back? Dan is associated right now with the Antichrist. Dan means judgment. Ephraim means something about being restored in Egypt. You can go backward. Alright. Therefore, thus will I do unto thee, Israel. I'm going to put you through all this trial and tribulation. I'm going to have a red man. 2022. And because I will do this unto thee, you now this famous expression we use, but look, look at the context. Prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. They're going to meet him, Jesus Christ, even though Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe them. Now what about the Jews that did not get right, that rebelled all the way? You're going to meet God at the great white throne judgment, Jesus Christ. You're going to either meet God coming back on the, on the second advent in a white horse, or you're going to meet God at the great white throne judgment. Why would you say Jesus? He came unto his own, his own received him none. Jesus ain't African, Jesus ain't European. Jesus ain't American. His mama was full-blown Jewish. The descendants, according to Luke chapter 2, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I think her line ran all the way back to Adam. Jesus was brown, short, short, 
black hair, and maybe a, a scrunchy nose. And I'm not picking on the Jew. I'm just saying. For lo, he that formeth the mountains, not evolution, created the winds, not Darwinism, declareth unto men. Now that formed the mountains and created the wind. That is for the Jews in the law. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. I don't know where the state, where the Jews stand on that today. I don't know if they believe in the creator. I don't know. I know the Catholic Church doesn't. I know a lot of your religions don't. That make it the morning darkness. And you thought because the sun was on the other side of the earth. You know, it's the sun is on the other side of the earth is why it's dark. Well, how do you explain the sun is on my side of the earth and it's still dark? Oh, the clouds. Who made the clouds? And tread is upon the high places of the earth. Jesus. The Lord. The God of hosts. That's everything. Stars, planets, angels. Is his name. Jacob. What's your name? I can't tell you. Secret. Was it the great woman of Shuda? Was it uh, Samson's mother? I forget which one. What is your name so we can... I can't tell you my name. That's because Jesus Christ, before he was named, call his name Jesus, for he shall save their, his people from their sin. What is Jesus? Jehovah saves. So you better have the right King James Bible, where it says in Acts 7, Jesus brought him in, not Joshua. Imagine somebody taking a King James Bible and messing with it. Satan is slick. He don't need ice skates. He don't even know what ice skates are. 